uh, victim in there. We'll try to get it open. Today is going to be an incredibly fun day. It's a little cold right now. Our personalities and our uh, moods are warming up. We were so cold yesterday. So we got eight markers and I count 12 cards. It's like a minivan maybe. Yeah, it does look like a minivan, doesn't it? All right, there's a truck and a car and another car on top of it. It's insane. Everything looks like it's 20 plus years. Look at this string, all right? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't identify anything in it. There could have been a serial killer associated with some of these, and there still might be. We don't know. Developing story that we've been following for years. A man charged with killing three Texas women has now been charged in the murder of a fourth woman in Oklahoma. We're going to get ourselves a Mercedes today, maybe a pickup. No guarantees on the pickup. Now, for reals, we're starting the day. Going to go in the river, go hook up a buoy, and start rigging this stuff. who have all but given up on finding their loved ones, this team is a last hope. Civilian divers cracking cold cases for free. So we're gonna take uh, two buoys out and reposition those lines that we hid yesterday. All right. And then from there, we'll come up with a game plan as to which bags, which chains, which hooks, how we're gonna hook it, and uh, get everybody dialed in once everybody starts showing up. But I keep trying to convince Doug to just let me use the RV to pull it out. His brain is still cold from yesterday. Listen, Doug got really cold yesterday. No, and no. He, look, and look, the bottom line is nobody wants to see us pull a car out with an RV. They want to see massive tow trucks. Listen, they want to see winch cables. Listen, leave a comment down below. Would you rather see us use the RV to pull a car out or just some chintzy roll back tow Shit. trucks? <laughs> so the car that we're going for right now is a white Mercedes. There's two vehicles that yesterday we left a rope underneath that metal pole. And then there's another rope further down that we hid. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the rope is what we're gonna do. And then we'll slowly take ourselves back out okay. over the top of the car and tie everything tight. tight. So that way we have a place for the divers to go straight down on. All right. All right, so now. slowly kind of go over the top of it and I'll kind of let you just kind of pull it out of there but be gentle not to pull that magnet off of it. All right. All right, beautiful. So that's going to be the Mercedes. Now, let's go to the other one and do the same thing. Beautiful. All right. I should see it on sonar in a minute as you pull us over the top of it. There we go. Coming right over the top of it now. Beautiful truck. Perfect. I like it. Vehicle slanted like that, correct? It's just like that. Like that. All right. So we're going to be able to get to the two side wheels or the two front wheels? The two front wheels would be the easiest. I don't know about right. that back corner. All right, so we'll get to the two front wheels. Send you down first. That way you know exactly where you're at in your head and where to locate it. Because if I go down, it's all blind and we're wasting air, we're wasting time. We're going to take each six foot chain 
get it through the spoke, marry them together, lock them in with the twist lock there. And these are going to be what we will anchor the bags to. Well, I was just wondering, are we making Eric do this all by himself or are you going down with him? Well, first, we were, we were going over our safety efficiency plan of recovery and then I'm gonna go get ready. I like that you guys are like going over all this without me, which is incredible because with AWP, it really is becoming a movement. We want to continue to promote other people that are doing this. We want to encourage you to start your own movement, you know, and it doesn't have to be like going out and finding cars or cleaning up the environment as far as cars and, you know, finding lost loved ones. It can just be, what can you do within your local community? There's so many things to find purpose. So, you know, I, I think that's really what the entire AWP move, movement is about with just everybody finding the you know, a purpose in life. I, you know, the only reason I know how to do this is because I learned from watching you taking care of me all those other times. I like how that is, full circle. Yeah. So what is this way it's supposed to be? Yep. A true sense of community. Let's run the 20 foot line. Yeah. Because that's what I like to have. Yeah, but we'll all run another line too. Yeah, top just side. something off the top just in mm -hmm. case. Because we are at like 27, 28 foot. Yeah, because then when, once it's floating, the tow truck really is what we want to attach to the 20 foot line once you can, but if we have additional yeah, line. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure we had the line. Okay. To so you can back. just go from the top of the buoy and marry them together when it's time. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. We want to, yeah. Because your, your 20 foot line you're going to put on, you're going to anchor hard to the car. When I go down, I'm just gonna face the buoy, just pretty much the angle we're at right now. Yeah. And I'm just gonna come down on it. We should come down on the red car that's buried underneath of it. Yeah. And then I'll start working right. Okay. Find the Mercedes. It's kind of weird because you're working, we're working on the red car and then all of a sudden the Mercedes is going up off of the red car. Already That's because he somewhere has a hole in his suit. He didn't have a hole yesterday, so I don't know what's going on. We'll get it fixed. All right, let's go. Ready, ready. Let's go, dive it down. Yeah, we got a lot of static in line today. That's what it is, his teeth chattering, that's why. <laughs> What's that? Uh, that's the shackle. Eric just came up with everything. I don't know why Eric's up, up with everything. You all right, bud? Yeah. That magnet got moved. What did he say? The magnet came off. I went down and the magnet was just in the mud, bobbing up and down. I can't hear you. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta refine the car. We don't, we don't have the car. The magnet wasn't on. Hey, Jared, you're up. I'm up. All right. So I, I know that was right off of this pole right here, this metal pole. So we're going back to it right now. All right, you're on. Are you doing all right for uh, temperature, body? How's your core temperature? Okay. It looks like the magnet's on the low end of the car, so you should be coming in at the uh, bottom of it. Alright, him and Eric are at the wheel right now. Uh, they've got it through the wheel, just working on getting it clipped. We are secure. We are secure on the line. 
Car here. Hey, just as a heads up, don't come off the car, only come straight up the line. We have a uh, barge traffic now. Go ahead, pull the chain down. Pull the line tight. Go ahead, pull it tight. We'll pull it tight. He said, go ahead and pull it tight and run the bags down. Run the bags and the chain down. Okay. Pulling magnet now, pulling the line tight. We'll start running some bags. Okay, chain is coming down right now. All right, you are good, you are tight. This line is completely secure, it's tight. You are good to bring down whatever you need. Okay. Good. All right, first bag is coming down. Get slow, so it's not coming yet. All right, let's run the second bag and then put the tank on top of it. Doug's coming up. And then both connected perfectly. We're good to go. Yes, sir. It's probably the biggest fish I've ever had on in my life. It'll be about 400 plus the car, so about 1,700 pounds. All right, lift bags are on secure. All right, let me know when you uh, start putting air in them. Tank is up. Does he need another tank? Yeah, I don't know. Well, the cylinder could be floating, so it could be moving. So the car could be standing on its end now. And so you have the bag, and then you have the tank right above it. How's the bags looking? They're very cool. Huh? They're very cool. Do you need another one? I don't think so. Let me play with it some more. Okay. We can always get another one. Release the tank, leave the bags there. We're just gonna have the tow truck pull it from here. So Mike, we can either throw another bag on there or you can try pulling it now. So what's happening right now is because it has so much silt and sediment in there, we only put 3,000 pounds of lift on there. So that's good. So if, because there's only 3,000 pounds of lift on there, for a regular car, it would float it at that point. We might put it like a third one on and it would float for sure. But because of all the silt and sediment, now think about every bag of concrete. When you go to like Home Depot, a bag of concrete is about yay big. And so each one of those is 80 pounds. Now you take that and then you envision how many of those 80 pound bags can you stuff inside of this car? And that changes. If you put a hundred of those bags in there, you have an extra 8,000 pounds of lift in there. Uh, they're trying to decide whether they're uh, jammed up or not. Like if it's it's hung up on something. Well, all the other cars are part of it. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> you want to pull this one tight for me? Thanks, Mark. 
up by hand. Pull it up some more and then we can roll it over if we need to. So the best bet would be when we get this tight to just drive it. That way when it's rolling, you're pulling, maybe it'll get off of whatever it's hung up on, you know? Yeah. 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 Um, dredge rip the side of this open. Yeah. That's why that whole thing's missing over there. Everybody's in the market for a Mercedes Benz. Oh, a look how the dredge ripped that side open. Yeah. Even though the inside's clear, that truck might not be clear. Yeah, yeah. You could be a victim in there. You got a crowbar? Um, yes. Yeah, Try to get it open. If not, we can put the winch on it. Yeah, it's clear.
go. We're just gonna go right back in there. It's gonna come on up. And that is how we wrap up another episode of Adventure of the Purpose. If you have not already done so, make sure to subscribe over on YouTube. It is free. If you're not following us on Facebook, head over there and follow us, like us, because it's free over there as well. And a big shout out to everybody that's come out here today in support of everything we're doing. This really is, you know, you that watch, everybody that's out here right now, we could not be doing it, with, with, we could not be doing it without each and every one of them. Until then, I think we need to go work a cold case tomorrow. What do you think? Let's go. All right. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.